Oh my god, Josh Macaulay. <laughs> uh, I think he's literally texting me right now, but um, yeah, he's amazing. I'm so lucky. I honestly, we both told the writer that we were so glad um, that he picked us for this film because we both met our best friends on this movie. But yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is a beautiful thing. Kristen here, and today we're chatting with Avantika, who stars in Netflix's Senior Year. This film has everything. It's hilarious. They have so many awesome references to the early 2000s and maybe even some musical numbers. We're about to dive on into it. Enjoy the conversation. I got to start off by saying, first of all, that um, before Senior Year, I was already a fan of yours from Spin. Um, oh, my God. Loved that Disney Channel original movie. And love how, like, all your projects so far have, you know, dived into music a little bit. You know, you had the DJing, and then, you know, in this film, you guys are doing some crazy dance numbers to all of the most iconic early 2000s songs. So I got to just start with that. Like, what was that like? Oh, my God. So much fun. Um, I, like, grew up watching those kinds of movies, and... and um. Maybe I don't know the most about the 2000s, but I grew up kind of listening to Britney Spears a lot. Um, and so to one, be a part of a movie that is a callback to that era and to recreate one of Britney's like most iconic songs was such a like it was so much fun and it was such a dream. You guys are, you know, diving into songs from 20 years ago. If we were taking an, this movie and like setting it 20 years from now, what songs do you think now? would be like the the hot songs that would be like featured in the movie. I'm like thinking of dance songs that are super popular. Yeah, for sure Beyonce. There has to be a Beyonce in there. Um Beyonce is always also one of my favorite singers, artists, like people ever. Um I feel like there has to be a Dua Lipa song too. Maybe one from Future Nostalgia. Something like dance dance poppy. Um but yeah, I think those would be like some of the ones in a movie set 20 years from now that are very iconic. I want to hear a little bit more about your character. We've talked about the music. Tell us a little bit more about Janet. So Janet Singh is this slightly introverted, uh, very ambitious, very driven girl. And at first glance, she seems a little bit uptight, but I think she's she's one of the most open people I've met. She's always willing to hear somebody out and always willing to help somebody. And I think that's the little um, good politician in her, good politician in her, because, you know, she really wants to become president and she really wants to help lead. And, and I think she has those leader tendencies, but she's such a cool character and she's so, so different from Rhea from Spin. And so I think it was really interesting to one, play a character that was different and play a character that was different in a film that is very different. Like this is a very mature adult comedy. So playing a character like Janet in that kind of an of an environment was also very interesting. So for you, like versus these two characters that you mentioned, which one are you more like, or do you have like a little bit of each of them in you? Oh yeah, for like, sure. I have a little bit of each in 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 me for sure. Um, I'd say I'm probably closer to Janet, but Janet's humor is a little bit weird. Like it's a little bit kooky. Um, she doesn't really get jokes on time. I'd like to pride myself on getting jokes as soon as they come out. So I think that's the one thing that would be very different. Our fashion is also very different. Um, and I don't know if I have as many like, oh, I want to be a politician as her, but I think more personality traits, like being a little bit introverted and, and being very open to ideas and being helpful or at least trying to be helpful I think we're very similar in that aspect. There's a lot of really incredible young actors in this film but as as well as amazing hilarious comedy veterans like Rebel Wilson. What was it like working with everyone? What did you learn on this set? First of all Rebel Wilson is like amazing. So many people talk about Rebel's like improv skills and everything and you never know what to expect when you're actually going to step on a set like that. She's so much fun. So much fun to act with and her improv's great. Like the extent to which we see it in this film is not her in her full glory because there's so much more we just like couldn't put it in the movie because everything was so much material but she's so so good and she's just so funny and i think working with her and like sam richardson and mary holland and and like you said all these comedy veterans um they all take really big risks on set in terms of the lines they deliver and the improv they choose to do. So I think that was one of my main takeaways from the older cast that even if you're on a set with such like commendable actors, it's okay to take risks and it's okay to make a bold move um, here and now. Uh, and the younger cast, amazing. I met my best friend on that set. So um, it's so, so amazing to work with 
like young Hollywood and, and up and coming actors as well. Um, and I love, love Victor. So to work with Michael and like, it was great to work with all of these people that I now like know and admire so much. You said you met your best friend. Tell us a little bit more. What What's the story? Oh my God, Josh McCauley. <laughs> uh, I think he's literally texting me right now, but um, yeah, he's amazing. I remember our first message, um, Alex Hardcastle, our director, put us in touch. He was like, I know you from Spin. And I was like, oh my God. And I think our first like text chain was just us complimenting each other because he has such a beautiful face. And I was like, you're so gorgeous. And he was like, you're so talented. And so our relationship is just like so amazing. And when he comes out to LA, he stays with me and, and we just have such a blast. And, and honestly, it doesn't feel like we've known each other for just a year, honestly, like it's going to come up on a year that we met each other tomorrow. But um, I'm so lucky. I honestly, we both told the writer that we were so glad um, that he picked us for this film because we both met our best friends on this movie. What do you hope that people take away from senior year? There's a space for you no matter what. Um, and sometimes you might have to push a little to make that space for yourself, but always know that you can and always know that it'll happen in good time. Um, and I think at least that's my main key takeaway from senior year, but I think whatever people walk away, whatever audiences walk away with is correct. You do everything. You can act, you can sing, you can dance. Like like what's next for you? Like what, like, is there something where you want to like put all of that together, like Broadway or I don't even know. Like, I just feel like you have so many skills and you're just so talented. Oh my God. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Um, I would love to be on Broadway. I think that would be such a dream. Um, I just never have really had the guts to be like, I'm going to go pursue this, but hopefully sometime down the line, I'd love to be on Broadway. Um, but I have something very exciting coming up that I can't, like necessarily divulge all the details of, but I'm going to be um, producing and starring in something uh, very big and that's very close to my heart um, and something that I've been working on for a long time. But that announcement is coming up soon, so I'm very excited. But uh, yeah, that'll kind of, it's not like dancing, singing, and acting all together, but since you said like something new, production is definitely something that's going to be new to me and developing and helping write. Um, something is, is obviously going to be very new. So I think that's like kind of what's next on, on the path of trying new things. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Well, congratulations. I can't wait to find out what that Thanks. is soon enough. Thank you so soon enough. Consider subscribing if you like my videos. And if you want to talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comments section, check out the exclusive Discord available on my Patreon at patreon.com slash kmaldo. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya!